Adding the ESP8266 to the Arduino IDE is a really straightforward procedure. The first thing to do is to go to File and then click on Preferences. Ensure that the Settings tab is selected. Then go to Additional Board Managers URLs. So you need to add in this URL which I've put in the description. Once that's there, just click on OK. Next we need to go to Tools and then Board and click on Boards Manager. So when this appears, we put in 8266 here. So we need to install this one. It's the ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community. So we'll click on Install. So as you can see, it's installing now. So it should say that the installation was successful as mine just flashed up. So now we can go to Tools, Board, Board Manager, close Board Manager. So now we can go to Tools and then Board and the ESP8266 will be listed here. So which one you use depends on which one you've got. So I would use generic ESP8266 module as a starting point just to see if that works. So if you want to test your ESP8266, all you need to do is to go to File and then Examples and you should have some ESP8266 examples listed here. So we'll use the Blink one. It will open in a new window. So all we need to do is to go to Tools and then Port and ensure that COM5 is selected. And the board should already be selected. So we'll use the generic ESP8266 module and then go to sketch and upload and see if it works. So now it's uploading to the ESP8266. So the ESP8266 rebooted itself and now the LED is flashing. Note that on mine it's a blue LED, not a red LED as some other boards. So that's all you need to do to get the ESP8266 working with the Arduino IDE. Thanks for watching.